Welcome to Nollywood Radio France. My guest today is Mr. Iken Obi. Mr. Iken Obi, thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. You're welcome. Uh, what legal hurdles remain for Nollywood today in our globalized world? Oh, okay. Well, that's um, that's a tough one, but it's yeah. not a problem. I mean, okay. in in Nollywood, yeah. the, the legal hurdles there. First and foremost, if we talk, if we speak about Nigeria, we're we're looking at piracy. So piracy that can be tackled, which is really hard for it to be tackled mm -hmm. there in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Then that would be a big hurdle. That would be that would, that would have been conquered. Um, secondly, it's um, I think Nigeria they don't really have that much problems because they've got unions, they've got you know well established organisations. Now here in the UK, what we need to properly legalise the Nollywood industry and regulate you know uh, producers, directors, actors, actresses, and the rest of the, the Nollywood industry here in the UK is first and foremost we need a union. First and foremost we need an organised structure mm. whereby people will register before you actually release a film. Um, before you release a film, both of the directors will actually work to ensure the credibility, the integrity of the Nollywood industry, mm -hmm. rather than just you know making a new film and just releasing it out there and then making the industry look like a joke. So yeah, if we have that, and I feel pioneers like Obi and Anya, Obi and Anya, Theodore Ibekwe, another other Nollywood uh, top hierarchy people, Fatima Jabe. Mm -hmm. Um, they they can actually start making that actually happen because okay. we need that here in in Nollywood UK mm -hmm. for us to be taken seriously. Mm -hmm. And until that happens, it will still be um, kind of second to Nollywood. It won't be Nollywood. It'll be it'll be a case of Nollywood UK mm -hmm. over there in abroad. So okay. we need, we need to get our our, our organised structure first, and um, and then we can take you from there and and. And we can progress into something more productive mm -hmm. and be seen to be uh, uh, an entity that is, is, uh, is actually solidified as opposed to an entity that is kind of you know, scattered all over the whole place. Now we're going to talk about the age of Nollywood, the official age. Um, <laughs> Nollywood is 21 years now. So how would you summarize the industry's progress and um, travels? I must say, Nollywood has really done very, very well, given the fact that Nollywood started off with literally people holding one cam one handheld camera yes. to actually record, from one handheld camera to having high-tech cameras. Um, so Nollywood has really grown in, in terms of Nollywood. It's established properly, again, stemming from Nigeria, it's well established, America now established, we're trying to establish here. Um, so it's grown, it, it's pro produced a lot of uh, prolific actors, actresses. It's it's produced amazing talent, both in directing, uh, producing, acting, and uh, cinematography, lighting. Yeah. So it, it has done. It has really progressed very very well. I must say, um, not even now. What Rex in what I think probably about um, 80, 90 million pounds a year. Um, revenue, so that's that's really big, you know. That's really really big, if not more than that. Yeah, it's I more think. than that. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's more than that. I think about mm -hmm. probably two to three hundred million pounds um, a year, which is really really a big thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you know, considering that not would side off with a one hand one handheld camera. And I mean, you could see like there was a film that was done by Obi Menoye, which was an Onyozi, which was absolutely amazing. He did. Um, a stunt, what they call bullet, bullet time, mm -hmm. whereby it was using Keanu Reeves. I mean, it shows that Nollywood has actually grown. Yeah. Um, and you have other people as well who who are really establishing Nollywood. So it's really grown. It's grown in Nigeria. It's grown um, very well in America. It's growing here and keeps on growing as well. But we need that unity as well. And one other thing we need here in the UK is we need unity amongst all of us. Mm -hmm. You know, there has to be a joint force to be able to establish Nollywood properly here mm. and whereby it will be seen as a solid foundation as opposed to just seen as everyone doing their own thing. You are listening to Nollywood Radio France.
your host is Cyprian Johnson. It's a challenge to run a free radio station like this one without money. So please support Nollywood Radio France. We need your financial support. For more information, go to our website www.nollywoodfrance.com.